So every smart board has this uh, smart notebook technology on it. You can open, the, open up the program and we can start using it. You can draw on it normally with any of the pens, just pick it up and you can draw with that color. Um, what's even better though are the multitude of pens there are. If we see on the top right here, there's a couple of options. Right now we're on the cursor. If we click on the uh, pen icon, we can see all the different pen styles. Um, right now we're just in a regular pen, but we can choose any, any of these different colors, any of these different line styles. Um, there's a lot of different line styles right here on the right that pop up. Do different thicknesses, uh, different uh, dottedness, and different beginning and ends of the lines. Then I can also choose any of these different colors. I can even do more. So uh, right now, maybe I want to do a cyan color. Click on that, and then I'm going to start drawing. I'll draw a smiley face. Can't see I picked a really bad color for that, but you can choose any of these colors and designs here. That's just the regular pen. There's still a lot more we can use. So we'll click on the pen icon right here, and we can see the next option is the calligraphic pen. Um, you guys know what cal uh, calligraphy is. You can just uh, write real fancy looking. So it has the different weights on the different sides of the pen. So kind of like sign of the constitution here. Just uh, another pen to use. Uh, the next option is a crayon. Easy enough. Draws, looks like a crayon would draw. If you're into that kind of stuff, you can use that. Um, we'll click on that again. The next one's a highlighter, like we talked about in the PowerPoint options. Uh, the highlighter will go over things, translucent. You can still see what's behind it. Acts just like a highlighter would in real life. Uh, the next one is the creative pen. This one has a bunch of fun different options. If we see on the top right here, we have different line styles. This one's kind of a faded line style. We want to get happy. There's a smiley face line style. Um, also, there's this uh, rainbow tie-dye style we can use. So that's some of the more fun options that's under the creative pen. Uh, the next option is magic pen. We'll click on that. There's three different functions of the magic pen. The first one is if you draw a circle, it's going to make a spotlight tool. Uh, basically, you can just move it around, uh, spotlight different things. You can change the size of it by holding in this little blue border and moving it around. And then we'll press X to get rid of it. Uh, the next function of the uh, magic pen is if you draw a square or a rectangle, it's going to act as a magnifier. And you can move this around, magnify different things on the board. Go look at those smiley faces. Press the X to get rid of it. And the last function of the uh, magic pen is if you just draw, so I'll draw a bunch over here. After a couple of seconds, it's going to start disappearing. So you see it's starting to fade right now. All my text is gone now. Just some of the different functions of that magic pen. The last and almost probably one of the more cool pens is the shape recognition pen. If I click on that, it's going to basically just recognize the shapes I want and actually make them right. So I really suck at drawing circles. So I'm going to draw my circle here. It's going to make it a perfect circle, easy enough. I can do a triangle, or maybe if I made a nice triangle, a nice triangle like that, do any kind of shape I need, it's going to block it up, make it a shape for you. So now we have all this uh, stuff on here. We want to get rid of it. Two different ways to erase. We can click on the eraser icon at the top here, choose different sizes, just go over it with our finger. Or like I said, there is an eraser on the smartboard tray. Pick it up, start erasing what you want. And one of the coolest functions of this eraser tool on the smart board is what I call the circle tap. If you draw a circle around the stuff you want to erase and then tap in the center of it, all these uh, annotations will disappear. So we'll do it again on this side. Circle around it, tap in the middle, all that stuff is gone. Um, it's not, when you use the eraser, it's not going to erase any of the shapes that you've drawn, either with the shape tool or with the shape recognition pen. So to get rid of those, we're going to click on this uh, cursor on the top. And then I can just drag and cover all of these different options. And then in any of these uh, shapes, I can click on this uh, downward facing arrow, press delete. And now they're all gone. Easy enough. Okay. The next two things we're going to look at are the text box and the table. Uh, the text box is this A icon right at the top. Press on that, and then you can drag and size your text box. And then to actually start typing on the text box, there's two different ways to do this. Uh, basically, you're going to have to get the keyboard up. On the right here is an icon that looks like a keyboard. So I'll click on that. 
and it's going to bring up this keyboard we can use to enter text. So I'm going to type in smart board, S M smart board, and I exit out of that keyboard, and I have that in there. And the table tool is very similar to this with the entering text and stuff. Found at the top here, if you click on that, we can make a table anywhere from one by one square all the way up to eight by eight. So for this small screen, we're just going to do a three by three. So we'll click on the third. Or actually, we made this a four by four, it looks like. And let's click on this. If you just double tap in that square and bring up the keyboard again, you can also get the keyboard up by pressing this on the uh, tray here. Bring up this keyboard, and we can start typing. I'll type in zero, zero, zero. Just an easy way to get stuff on the board quickly if you need it. Okay. Uh, there's another way to actually erase things much quicker than the way I showed you earlier. So I'm going to put a couple more things on here. Draw more shapes and stuff. So if you go on the right here and click on Edit at the top on the File menu, uh, near the bottom of it are two different options. There's Clear Ink from Page and Clear Page. Uh, the difference between this would be Clear Ink from Page will be only anything that you've drawn with your finger, such as those green marks I put or anything you've drawn with the pen. And Clear Page will clear everything off of that page. So I'll show you both options right now. First one is clear ink from page. So all that green ink is gone now. So we'll go back and edit. We'll click on clear page. It's going to clear everything, including tables, text box, different shapes. That stuff's all gone now. Now just under the edit menu, clear ink or clear everything off the page. And now just for a couple more options or things to look at. Um, you can actually add more pages and delete pages. So if you have a lesson plan on notebook, you can have different pages to go through with different material on it already. Uh, to add a new page, on the top right here, there's a, a page with a green plus symbol in it. If you press on that, it's going to add a new page. Um, this sidebar on the left is our page sorter. So we have all the different pages we have in there. I could put maybe as many pages as I really want to in there. And if they're out of order or if you need to reorder it, if you just hold, click and hold on one, you can drag it around you can move it into the place that you want it to be. Pretty easy that way. And to delete a page, we'll just click on this on the top, right next to the uh, Add Page button, is the uh, Delete a Page button. We'll click on that, and now that page is gone. So instead of five pages, I only have four pages now. And the last thing we're going to look at is making this full screen. Uh, we can make this uh, page itself full screen. We'll click on this monitor icon found to the right of our uh, pages things. Click on that and then we can click on full screen. It'll be the first option. Now we have more room to work with. Uh, basically it's more writing surface. And then this bar will appear at the bottom. We can jump through the different uh, pages that we do have on there with these buttons on the right or on the left I mean. And then to get out of this we're just going to click on this monitor icon. We'll shrink back down. So there's a lot of fun ways you can use notebook to make your class a little more interactive and interesting for your students.